All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another video. All right, y'all, let's talk about this main event. We had another main event for women's boxing. Sandy Ryan taking on Michaela Mayer. Man, there was a lot of beef, a lot of bad blood going into this fight here. As y'all know, Michaela Mayer was moving up to 147 to challenge the WBO champion, uh, Sandy Ryan. Uh, going into this fight, like I said, a lot of beef here. You know, Sandy Ryan was uh, a fighter that came into the camp of Michaela Mayer, you know, I guess early in, early on. And uh, Michaela Mayer didn't want uh, Sandy Ryan in her gym because, you know, eventually she felt they were going to fight at some point. So, you know, there's just a lot of things that I guess uh, Michaela Mayer felt were done wrong as far as loyalty, you know, between trainers, this and that. So there was a lot of bad blood here going into this fight. I mean, all the way up until fight night. I mean, the night of the fight, before the fight, you know, Sandy Ryan was hit with a paint can by allegedly, hit, you know, by somebody in the camp of uh Michaela Mayer you know of course Michaela Mayer she denied it which I'm sure she probably didn't know anything about it because had she known about it you know I think she should have tried to put a stop to that or try to fire whoever it was because okay it was a can of paint you know mostly the paint just did the damage to her her clothes but had that paint can maybe hit her in the knee or in the leg and did some damage or even hit her in the head it could have caused their fighter a payday right it could have cost Michaela Mayer a payday so I hate whenever you know camps get involved and you know two fighters beef just just let them handle it y'all just stay calm and try to y'all try to keep the fighters calm you know you got to have that calm like you got to have the cornermen and the team that's kind of balancing it out you know let the fighters carry that energy into the boxing ring you know let them stay mad at each other so it can it translates into the fight you know so they can let it out in the actual fight but don't come in there egging it on, you know, as like hype men and corner men, you know, just just stay out of it. Don't be throwing stuff and acting stupid, you know. But with that out of the way, the fight delivered. As y'all know, this was a main event go, kind of going head to head with uh, Michaela Mayer's rival, Alicia Baumgartner against Delphine Bersoon. But hey, I ain't gonna lie, this one delivered. This one stole the show because y'all know Baumgartner's fight ended in no contest. But um, this one here, it delivered for, for women's boxing. I mean, this one could be like fight of the year for women's boxing. I mean, Sandy Ryan, Michaela Mayer, they went, af they went after it. You know, they, they translated that bad blood into the ring. And it, it was some good back and forth action. You know, no knockdowns, you know, really not a lot of blood in this fight. I think maybe a couple of nicks on Michaela Mayer's eye, but really no... Um, damage like that but it really delivered you know it really did deliver um i think um to me i will go ahead and say i think the fight could have ended in a draw i know it was a majority decision for michaela Mayer. one judge did have it a draw but the other two had it for michaela Mayer. um i personally probably would have had it a draw maybe five to five but i could have seen the champion edge it out you know sandy ryan could have edged it out maybe six rounds to four here uh because i think Sandy Ryan did come on strong and she kind of got a second win in the second half of the fight from six on. I personally, personally gave her six through 10. You know, I think Sandy Ryan started landing the harder power shots. Looked like Michaela Mayer started feeling them shots and she started to kind of wear down. But going back, looking at the first half of the fight, yeah, Michaela Mayer was doing well. You know, she was boxing off the back foot. You know, she definitely looked strong and this looked like the weight she needed to be at. She was popping off a good jab. They both were exchanging good jabs in the first round, but, um, it was Michaela Mayer who landed a good right hand, popped the chops of uh, Sandy Ryan in that first round, kind of stunned her a little bit. So she did. She does have some power. Uh, but as the next few rounds went on, Sandy Ryan was just following Michaela Mayer around a lot. Like she was landing, she was landing in some spots, but Michaela Mayer was doing a good job of, I think, winning the judges over with those combinations she was putting together, you know, like the second and the third round. Third round was tight, but like the second round, I like how Michaela Mayer was you know, letting her right hand go. And she was letting double jabs go, but then she followed up with the right hand. And then she was landing good shots on the inside whenever Sandy Ryan would try to step in. Uh, and landed some good body shots too in the first half. You know, when Sandy Ryan would step in, good body shots. But Sandy Ryan, man, like her shot, you know, was the left hook. She was landing it. You know, she landed it a few times. I think she kind of stunned Michaela Mayer in like the fourth or fifth round with that that um that left hook. But Michaela Mayer, she, you know, she stayed into the fight and she just, you know, kept putting combinations together and just kept fighting behind the jab you know she never really showed any quit in her so like the first five rounds i would honestly say it's probably like four to one for michaela Mayer or three to two for uh michaela Mayer. you know so yeah she got the first half but i think from six on 
maybe the sixth could have went to Michaela Mayer, but I think that from six on, I just saw Sandy Ryan come on stronger and finally start to cut the finally start to cut the ring off and start putting combinations together. Like she was still pop, she still kept backing Michaela Mayer up with her jab, and then she would start landing that right hand. Like there was a couple rounds where she just started landing like at will, like jab right, jab right, and she was cracking Michaela Mayer and it looked like Michaela Mayer started breathing hard. So I think those shots started to catch up. But I got to give Michaela Mayer credit. You know, she had the heart, the chin to stay in the fight. And I think she knew that since she took most of the first half, if she just stayed in there and continued to throw combinations here and there, even off the back foot, she could she could take the fight. But um, yeah, eight and nine, man. Like I, I thought that Sandy Ryan was really starting to come come towards closing the show. You know, she just started landing some good sequences. You know, that that hard right hand. Um, finally, when she started cutting the cutting the ring off, you know, she started to get. It, really getting into a good groove and doing some damage on Michaela Mayer. Um, the 10th round, again, I gave that to uh, Sandy Ryan. I just thought that she was um, winning most of the fight, you know, winning most of the fight in a round, even though Michaela Mayer started to, you know, come on strong at the end of some of those rounds. But yeah, I, I, I gave her those those last four or five rounds, man. I thought she won maybe six to four or, yeah, I'd say like six to four. It's a 10 round fight, like six to four or five to five could have been a draw. So yeah, man, um, good fight. I thought it delivered, you know, hopefully these two bury the hatchet or hopefully they they do it again, man, with with this type of action. And, you know, Michaela Mayer feeling like she's strong at this weight, at welterweight. I, I kind of hope these two run it back. You know, I'd like to see them run it back. You know, I thought Sandy Ryan did a good job. Maybe she could have went to the body earlier. Maybe, ha maybe had she started cutting, like I said, cut the ring off early, she probably could have won the fight for sure, right? But yeah, moving on from here, Michaela Mayer, you know, making her way into welterweight. She wins the WBO belt. Um, what's next for her? Maybe try to fight the winner of Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Or, you know, maybe even just fight a fight like Jessica McCaskill to stay sharp. Um, you know, th th there's, a, there's a lot of good fights, you know, around the, the smaller weight classes for women right now. You know, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, um, Alicia Bob Garner, all those, all those girls, I think they have really good matchups to make uh whereas you know when you get the higher weights it's kind of harder to find like a big name you know that's why you know for clarissa you know she's making her way to mma now i mean she's still doing boxing but you know even clarissa had to move all the way up to what light heavyweight or heavyweight to, to try to make a big challenge for herself but yeah for michaela Mayer, we'll see what's next for her um uh, what do y'all think guys do y'all think she won the fight overall i think it was just a good action-packed fight for women's boxing Hey, um, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.